Well, first in Somerset, I'll give you the complete opposite of uh, news. The rain's been raining for much of the day here. Mercifully, it's stopped for us now, so something's in our favour at least. Local people bracing themselves for the floodwaters to rise again. We've been warned of a series of increasingly high tides coming in over the weekend. That'll worsen the crisis with the amount of flood water here. And as I've been hearing from almost everybody here today, the residents just want to know when the rivers and the dikes will be dredged here again and when this will all be over. The bridge at Borough Bridge, where they await the effect of today's incessant downpour with the coming weekend spring tides. And on that bridge, the words everyone here is saying. For 30 years, Chris Osborne dredged the rivers of the Somerset levels. He understands the natural ebb and flow and flooding of this area. But this year, he says, is different and unnecessary. Everyone knows someone flooded for the first time, even here. But he had the same cottage for 55 years. Now he's got water in. Never happened in 55 Never years. Never happened in 55 years. And that's because of dredging. That's because the rivers are choked up and he got the river not too far away. It's true. But the thing is, it's over the top of the banks. The whole village, you see, is built on a high ridge. And many of the villages in the Somerset Levels are built on high ridges. And these high ridges um, were used for building because they didn't flood. Hayley Matthews in Moorland, busy pumping out a home built over 100 years ago and never touched by anything like this. We are not actually on a floodplain. Um, they keep saying on the TV that this is a floodplain. Why do you build there? Why do you live there? It's not. This is a man-made ecosystem. It was made by the monks 800 years ago. They did all this by hand. That's true, but those monks were dredging a bog all those years ago. Since then, it's an intimately managed network of sluices, dikes, straightened and dredged rivers. Well, dredged until recently, and that is the issue. Even conservationists here agree that carefully managed river dredging must start again soon. A big event like this is going to have impacts. Wildlife is under stress, but we're much more concerned, I think, about the local community, which is under real stress. Wildlife will bounce back. It will bounce back if we have a healthy environment. And yes, we can do dredging alongside looking after wildlife. That's for the long term. Right now here, it's all about emergency pumping, and the prospect of spring tides backing up flood water this weekend. All very impressive in its way, although the locals would say they shouldn't have to do this if the river was dredged in the first place. But with the tides coming and the rain continuing, they're going to have to stop this for several hours every day simply because the water will back up and there's no way they can put it into the river anymore. Meanwhile, we have a Prime Minister who's called upon the army, only for people here to point out to the Prime Minister they don't need soldiers. They do, however, need the Fire Brigade, the Red Cross, good friends and useful neighbours who are getting people through all this with an anxious weekend in store.